light orange and come right in here. Actually, I think I'm going to grab a little bit of white and bring that. Let's see what this does. Okay, just a little brown in here. And I think I'm going to do that again to this side. Right in here, just add some white. It's a little bit too much, so just bring a little rust with it. I can actually pull some down and have the sun coming down on it. Same thing with here. I can just pull some of this down. Let the sun come down on our pumpkin. Just amazing when you start painting the things you can discover and, and that you like and that you want to keep, you know, doing. You want to, you know, that was fun, so let's add it to another one. It gives it a little more um, character. And I think we're going to try a little bit over here. I'm just going to grab some white and some rust and I'm just going to come down in here a little bit. Because we've got the sun coming down. And that's those pockets. Okay, so I'm coming back with um, a clean liner brush. <laughs> okay, I've washed and dried my liner brush. I'm just going to pick up a little white and I'm going to come very so gently right up here and just put some highlights and if we want to put some highlights on our little flowers I don't know some of them is um, too yellow <laughs> for their background so just putting a little um, touch of, some of um, the white is helping it a little bit Missed one of these. Okay. I missed another one. I'm trying to give them their little yellow petals. So just having that white in there to help bring it up a little bit is is I see is helping it. Picking up some and just trying to give some of these little flowers some little little love in here. It's another red one. I missed it. <laughs> another one. Probably gonna stay here and find a bunch of them on. I'm just coming back in and touching up some more white. Especially where I've got the white background. I mean the um, yellow background so much. This is just helping give it a little more um, color. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm trying not to kill all the yellow. I'm just coming in and putting some um, little white. In there with the green too, just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, I'm coming back in here with my white, it should be dry by now. I'm gonna pick up some more white paint and we're gonna put another coat on this. Come in with some, my clean brush and I'm gonna come in with just a little gray and I'm gonna right in here and just kind of rub in a little gray 
just to give us a little shadow in here. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to do some shadowing right up here on the um, mirror. Can't really get in here, but I'm going to just touch it with some gray. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little shadowing up here on top. And we're going to come back with some more white with that. But right now I just wanted to get a little shadowing there. Let's see. We can probably put a little bit right above here. That may be covered up and that's perfectly fine if it is. We're just putting some shadowing in there. I'm going to pick up some just some white because I want to come back and with some more shadow. Some white here and I'm going to come back with a little more white right in here. I'm looking at this and I'm not liking this right here. Get that down more. I'm probably not going back on with another coat. Um, I'm just going to get this here finished up and then get some black on there. But I'm, so all I'm going to do is bring in this little four and I'm just going to um, pick up some red and I'm just going to put a little light bulb right, a little light here. And I'm going to put one right in here. That one's not going to be seen as much. So it's okay. We'll just put these in it. Um, but that's our little that's lights. Nice to make. I'm going to come in here with some brown and some, hopefully, some white. And I'm going to make me a, a box in the back of my truck. this point we're just gonna get some um, containers for our um, flowers. I think I'll put a, I'll build us a basket down here. We'll use the brown and white and we'll put us a Do it like a triangle like we did the other one. But we can just do this in brown and white, and I'll just come in here with a little more white. <laughs> and again, we don't have to spend a lot of time on these because we're that's not the focus. I just want something where we can have something to put flowers in. I'm gonna grab something black here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to make one here. And it's just coming right here. It doesn't matter because, like I said, we can, we're going to put more um, colors in here with it. So um, there'll be more flowers and stuff. Let's see if we want to put a little orange in this. We can. A little orangey color in here with this. Just to make it not so black looking. Dirty brush, I'm just gonna grab some um gray here and I'm gonna come down in here and make me a big one here. Actually, I think I'm gonna bring him over. Make him, I'm gonna make him really big because he's um, clean brush and get some of this rust. And um, I'm gonna come right along here, just fill it in, and I'm coming over past it a little bit. It, you know, this is not something that has a look radiant. I'm going to put some white, some white in here because it's 
It's so hard to see. So that, this one's actually going to just be in front of that pot. I'm going to grab some of this blue and some of this gray. And I'm going to come down here and make me a big wash tub. And we can put all kinds of colors and things in here. grab some of this um, darker blue and just come in here. Come back in here with some of that color we just made with the gray. And just come right in here. Let's see, we got some more yellow here. So I think I'm going to make a green little one here. Um, Oh yeah, I like that color. And we can just put some um, different color flowers in here. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna make the buff this out a little bit and buff it out over here a little bit because I like it a little more like a um. I'm going to take some of this um, yellow, the green that I had there, and I'm just adding some yellow to it. And I'm just going to make some um, stems here. Yep, we're going to have to have white for this too. <laughs> First of all, before I do that, <laughs> I gotta go over my um my um black my liner brush. I'm just gonna grab some black with a little water and try not to get my arm on this and just come around. All right, back with my green, and the, I don't know what color I picked up there, but I picked up some, oh, it was red from the light bulb. And I'm just putting in some of these colors. Still gonna have to grab some more white, I think. And we're gonna we'll fix some of this going on here. Just got a yellow green that I, Here we go. And well, you know what? The black is not bad with it. I'm gonna come in with just a little yellow and see if we can get some different shades going on there. And then I'm just coming in here with my brown and I'm just gonna also lightly just look at the colors. It goes really good with the pot. <laughs> covered it up but I don't I want to get rid of that black I just need to stop but the black in there is really handy <laughs> let's try I don't know what gray and green is gonna look like but we're gonna try and see how that's looking as far as um something to put in here oh yeah I like that color that was just um, grass green and um, um, gray. <laughs> now, at this point I'm just going to pick up a little white with it and just bring in some white. That's okay 
because we're going to be I'm coming back in with that green now over it and then we're going to be doing some different fall colors in there just put a few of these in there see how that would do I don't like it I can take it out and just have some, you know just having some different colors of grass plants in there helps sometimes okay all right I'm going to clean brush I'm going to grab some of my brown and some of my green and I'm just going to come along in here and try to muffle some of this in here because I'm going to want something we're going to put something in there <laughs> you see how we're just um putting colors down and I'm just coming back in there now. I told you it's gonna probably kill some of my um of of some of my uh things underneath, and that's okay. I'd rather had them there and needed them, and then um not put them there and need them and don't have them. Okay. Just putting a little white in there, just a little white. And if that's too much, I'll come back. Okay, I'm just tapping, just tapping it in. We can bring some of this down. Over our own bucket. And that way we'll have some other some tires getting covered up. That's okay. Because we're going to be putting flowers in here with these. I kind of want to get rid of that white because I'm not really liking that. It's good. I'm going to grab some of just my um, white and some of my golden yellow. And I'm going to come in here and bring in some. And if some of that wants to go above the truck, that's perfectly fine with me. we're going to we're doing fall now well we've been doing fall haven't we but I mean I just want it to go wherever it needs to go it's just getting started <laughs> all right I wonder how this golden yellow this green would do. Let's, let's just try it. Okay. I'm just gonna come down in here, start tapping in some green over this here thing. Well, I got some black in there. Can't help it. <laughs> it's okay. It's fall fall color, so we just. We can actually bring some of this over here. And we're not letting a whole lot of our um it's looking more summertime than it is, but we're not we're getting our bases down is what we got to do. Um I'm gonna take some of this blue that I have for the truck and I'm gonna mix it with a little green tell you what's going to come out. Probably a mess. And then I'm going to put a little brown with it. Kind of tone it down a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Because leaves are all kinds of colors. And don't ask me what the name of these tree uh, plants are because I don't know. almost goes um I'm bringing it in some lighter colors because that's almost to the point that it's the same shade as the um, um bucket I 
got a little blue mixed in there, that's okay. Um, I'm going to probably bring me a little rust in here and see what, oh yeah, get a little more fallish colors coming on in here. It's just amazing what a little here and a little there can do. I'm going to put a little rust in here, I think. I'm going to get rid of some of that white. <laughs> or just mix it with different colors. That's what I'm doing. It's like a little ivory bush there. I've got a gap here that I don't care for. And i got something right in here going. So let's see. I'm going to grab some of this, just some golden yellow, and put it in here. And that just might be some of the color that it gets. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna put. Um, it's just some um, golden yellow and some uh, oh, rust, and that just added to that. All right, I got a spot in here that doesn't have anything. I'm gonna add something to it. <laughs> Decisions. I'm gonna grab a little black and a little bit of this green and um, blue mi mixture that I made and let's just see what we can I'm gonna come down in there a little bit and then we're just, I'm gonna add a little um, white to that um, it's actually turning kind of gray <laughs> so I'm gonna grab some of this green mixture here and put it back in there. Okay, it's just, um, let's get some of this rust and see how this looks with it because I'm not really feeling it right now. Just kind of covering up bush. That's all right. That's, that's, I want to let this dry before I, um, go in to do anything else. <laughs> 